Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Iran Rashawn Say. Say was stopped for traffic offenses in March of 2000 on Route 302 near Barkley. At the time of the stop, it was learned that he was wanted in Delaware. Say was charged as a fugitive from justice and held without bail until returned to Delaware. On December the 8th of 2000, Say failed to appear in court and a bench warrant was issued. Iran Say is an African American male. He's now 33 years old. He's six foot tall and weighs 150 pounds. He's originally from Plainfield, New Jersey. When stopped in 2000, he was living at Webb's Lane in Dover. He was profiled on Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted in September of 2009, and we recently learned that he's living in Greenville, North Carolina. Information on his address is 308 Tradewinds Way, Grimsland, North Carolina. According to Delaware's Wanted Persons Review, Say is also wanted again in Delaware. In December of 2010, a victim contacted the Office of the Sheriff and reported that between July and December, his business account was missing over $7,000. Working with a local bank, the investigation showed that a fraudulent debit card had been used at a grocery store in Baltimore City. The person paid bills to Sprint cell phone accounts, Comcast, BG&E, and also Match.com. Record subpoena from the cell phone company resulted in identifying two suspects. Karen Wilson and Shamika Walker. Wilson was arrested and served her charges in August of 2011 and at a trial in October was sentenced to 18 months in the Department of Corrections. Now it's time for Shamika Tina Walker to join her. Shamika is 26 year old African American female. She's listed as 5 foot 5 inches tall and weighs about 150 pounds. Her last known address was Garrison Avenue in Baltimore City. One of the companies paid by the stolen money was Match.com. So look closely at the pictures of her and help us make her a connection. In 1999, Stephen Derwood Squires had several family issues occurring in his life. And then on November 28th, he was stopped by a deputy on Route 18 near Castle Marina Road and charged with the driving while impaired. After standing trial, Squires was placed on probation However, his probation ended with him being charged with several violations resulting in a bench warrant being issued in 2004. At the time, Squires' address was Mason Road in Stevensville. We knew Squires has a sister living in the Bowie area, but unsure where he had relocated to. But searching the internet, we discovered that his father, Walter Squires, had died on May 17, 2012, and that his son, Stephen, was living in the Meebane, North Carolina area with him. Stephen Derwood Squires is six foot tall, white male, who weighs about 190 pounds. He has a tattoo of a panther on his left shoulder. He's now 56 years old and may be working as a painter. Stephen, records show that you have a motorcycle license. And I can tell you one thing, when you're riding a motorcycle and you keep looking over your shoulder, the situation gets very dangerous all the time. Let's make it clear. Let's clear up some of these old mistakes. Call us or email us now. On March 4th of 2010, Timothy David Bardorf was found guilty of theft in Queen Anne's District Court. He was sentenced to serve five months of an 18-month sentence in order to pay restitution of $1,500. Once released, Bardorf was placed on probation, but after failing to work, obeying all laws, and not making his restitution payments, a bench warrant was issued on December 21st, 2011, charging with a violation of probation. Bardorf used to live on Whitby Lane in Centerville, but his last known address was 8471 Bird Road in Pasadena. Bardorf is a white male, he's 30 years old, six foot and about 172 pounds. He has brown hair and blue eyes. Bardorf has a lot of friends here in Queen Anne's County, so I'm sure someone has information on his whereabouts. Let's bring this guy into justice. On February 23rd, 2012, the victim in this case went to his barn located on Hope Road here in Centerville and found two men attempting to hook up to his 2011 flatbed trailer to their truck. 
The men acted as though they were repo agents. However, the victim knew that the trailer wasn't being financed and immediately called the sheriff's office. As the deputy arrived, one of the men fled across the field and the other staying, probably because he owned the truck that was hooked to the trailer. The second man was identified as David Michael Hines, 52-year-old with an address of 741 White Marsh Road in Centerville. Hines is a white male, 5 foot 9 inches tall, 155 pounds, with blonde hair and green eyes. He has tattoos on both arms and also on his chest. In the past, he's held addresses in Pasadena and Glen Burnie. Terry Marie Smith was arrested for DWI on May 22, 2004 by a deputy on Route 304 near Fogwell Road. In October, she was found guilty of this charge and received a probation before judgment and she was placed on supervised probation. On April 27, 2005, she was scheduled to be in court to answer a certain contempt of her probation. When she failed to appear, a bench warrant was issued. Attempts were made to serve her the warrant in her last known address on Old Country Road in Severna Park without any success. Since then, there has been no updated information about her. Smith was originally from New Jersey. Family members we've talked to have informed us that she left her children with relatives and has broken off all contact five to seven years ago. Smith is 55 years old. She's a white female, five foot five inches tall, 110 pounds with brown hair and brown eyes. She could be living anywhere and likely using an assumed name. If you have any information about her, it's so important you contact us. She's left two children behind. Her family has no information about where she is and we really need your help. One, to ensure that she's okay and two, to make sure that these charges are served. At this time, I wanna take and thank all of our viewers and bring you a couple of our recent arrests. Again, all of these arrests couldn't be possible without the support from you, passing this information along on Facebook, YouTube, and just sharing it with your friends. Carrie Kelly, she's profiled for a second time after failing to appear again in October. However, she was arrested in Cambridge on April 14th. Eddie Annabelle Orozco was arrested on April 8th for harassment and violation of a peace order. This warrant was from May of 2011. He was later released by a district court commissioner on his own personal recognizance. Again, I want to take this time to thank all of our viewers here on QAC TV. Special thanks to Queen Anne's County TV and a special thanks to the Queen Anne's County Commissioners. But the most important thank you goes to you, our viewers of Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Without you, we couldn't be bringing these persons to justice. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.